Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's a, a song that was that, that was banned by the BBC in the 1940s. Yeah, now you know why. It, it's disgusting. <laughs> And get this, the song is still banned to this day. The ban was never lifted. <laughs> oh, the BBC has long memories. But of course it became a massive hit, right? There's nothing like having a song banned for it to be, you know, for everyone to want to go out and buy it. So I've, I've always hoped that I would, I, that I could come out with a song that would be so rude that it would be banned. <laughs> I don't know if, I'll ever, if that will ever happen, but uh, we, we, do, we do have a special guest in the audience today. Um, I'll just tell you a bit about how we got in touch with each other again after many years. Um, he's, a, he's an old friend of mine who I've known since we were 10 years old, and I, we, did, we lost touch for about 25 years, and then finally he got in touch with me again, and he told me that he was no longer living in Yorkshire, where we both grew up, but he was now living in Reno. <laughs> and those of you who get my newsletter will have read about this about two weeks ago and you might may not have believed it but it is yeah. true <laughs> when, when, when we started to catch up he, he told me he said yeah I left school I did this job and that job he said then I came to, to the United States and I got the job as the handyman at the Mustang Ranch <laughs> and I said what you, did, you, did, you were the handyman where he said the Mustang Ranch have you heard of it I said yes I have heard of it he said, even in Canada it, it's famous Right? It, it's probably North America's most famous house of ill repute. Only the way he described it to me, it sounds like more like a collection of trailers of ill repute. <laughs> and trailers don't have a lot of repute to begin with, do they? <laughs> and, and so it happened almost instantly. I thought, that's it. The handyman at the Mustang Ranch. <laughs> that is a George Formby song just waiting to be written. <laughs> And in case you don't believe me, stand up, Steve. There is my mate, Steve. Five years at the Mustang Ranch. Unblocking toilets and fixing anything that needed to be fixed. <laughs> so it took me a little while to, to come up with the verses for the song. I will we'll do this more authentically. George Formby played a banjo ukulele and he was the Brit Britain's highest paid entertainer for six years in a row. Not bad for a ukulele player. I'm waiting for those days to come back again. <laughs> Some people call them God time gals and other names to boot. They call them ladies of the night and women of ill repute. I repair the broken knob on Darnella's chest of drawers. She seems too sweet and innocent to be one of the nighttime ladies. <laughs> I'm the handyman at the Mustang Ranch. I don't know what they mean. When people laugh and joke about the things they think I've seen, I tell them that it's just a ranch where the cowgirls ride all day. The only difference is they ride at sight to earn their pay. I'm the handyman, I'm the handyman, I'm the handy, handyman. Well, the girls must be religious, for I often catch them kneeling as I firmly thrust my plunger in the toilets I am clearing. Their prayers divinely influence my special way with plumbing. My expertise with the days has been called the second coming. I'm the handyman at the Mustang Ranch. I hear some funny things. That's not the AC breaking down, it's just some rust that springs. I've grown accustomed to the sounds that echo down the halls. When men shout out, oh yes, it means that someone to let tickle their big bald heads. I'm a handyman, I'm a handyman, I'm a handy, handyman. Clean. I'm a handyman at 
the Mustang Ranch, working hard all day. Sawing things and banging things is how I earn my pay. To blow the dust from holes I've drilled is what I like to do. The one thing I like more than that is to have a jolly good scoop of ice cream. Hope some someday to fit. I know the girls all want me, for I often get invited into their rooms, but what they have done not get me excited. They try and try every trick in the book to get little me around. But I tell them I don't give it, give it. I'm gonna give it to my spouse cause I'm a handyman, I'm a handyman, I'm a handyman.